Hi, welcome. I'm going to teach you how to keep score in duck pin bowling. This is brought to you by Fun Squared, home of Knight's Quest, a laser tag adventure, and T-Bow Lanes. Let's talk about the basics. There are three balls per frame. The ball is about the size of a grapefruit. There are 10 pins on the lane. You press the reset button after three balls, so you'll notice the small white button and you press the deadwood pedal after the first or second ball to remove pins laying down on the lane. The deadwood pedal is on the floor and deadwood looks like this. You will see pins laying on their sides and the deadwood pedal clears those pins. So in duck pin bowling, you do not use deadwood to improve your score. For your score, there are three balls in each frame and there are 10 frames per game. Your score equals all of the pins knocked down each game. If you throw a strike or a spare, you get bonus pins. These are called your fill. Here is the scoring sheet. In the big box, you put your cumulative score, and in the small box, you put your score for each frame. Let's take a look at Tony's score. Tony is in the second frame. For that frame, he knocked down six pins. So in the first frame, he had eight, so we add 8 plus 6 to get 14. His score is cumulative. He has 14 in the second frame because he knocked down 8 in the first frame and 6 in the second frame. Let's talk about some strikes and spares. A strike is when on the first ball you knock down all the pins. You draw a Y in the frame. Take a look at Tony. In the seventh frame he had a strike so we draw a Y. The next time that he's up, so that would be the eighth frame, his three balls will count in the eighth frame, and two of those balls will also count in the seventh frame. So you add the first two balls plus 10 to the previous frame, which is the seventh frame. So in the eighth frame, Tony gets up. In the first ball, he throws five. So we write that in the strike in the seventh frame. In the second ball, he throws two. So those two bonus balls are added together. So 10 plus 7 makes 17, and that's why he has 67 in the seventh frame. In the 8th frame, he throws another ball for a total of 8. So in the 8th frame, we'd score it normally, and so we add that 8 from the 67 for a total of 75. Spares follow a similar format. Basically, in the second ball, you knock down all the pins and you draw a slash. So take a look. Kim has a spare in her ninth frame. In the 10th frame, on the first ball, she knocks down 5. So we add that total from the first ball plus the 10 she already knocked down to add 15, which is 91 in the ninth frame. Then there's normal scoring for the next frame. So she has a 10 box for a total of 101. I hope that this tutorial has helped you learn how to keep scoring Duckman Bowling. We hope to see you soon at Fun Squared. We're located at 56 Costello Road in Newington, Connecticut, and you can connect with us online at www.funsquared.biz.